James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to give you the insights to my prediction for a watch period in November and also a time period where I expect a heavy uptick in volcanic earthquake and especially solar flare activity. Now let's get there. This is what our solar system currently looks like on a flat plane. Although we all realize our solar system is not on a flat plane. Our sun is the magnet that keeps all the planets orbiting around it. And it is being shot out from the Big Bang, according to mainstream science, at over 520,000 miles an hour. Now, each planet is caught by this quote-unquote magnet in a geomagnetic connection. And the planets orbit the sun at different speeds. Earth happens to order counterclockwise at about 67,000 miles an hour, making a full orbit once every year. We also understand that Earth turns 360 degrees every day. Now, each planet has their own set of facts. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a watch period in early November, and then a period that really frightens me around November 20th. Now, this is what our solar system really looks like. Here we can see our stars shooting away from the Big Bang, and we can see the planets following it per their geomagnetic connections to the sun. This is more so what our solar system looks like than anything you've seen, period. It's much easier to examine our solar system on a flat plane, so we'll do just that. This happens to be the planetstoday.com, and what you're seeing here is Earth and our Sun. And remember, the Sun's coming at you at about 525,000 miles an hour, and Earth is rotating counterclockwise at 67,000 miles an hour, or just under 67,000 miles an hour. Remember, the moon goes around the Earth every 28 days, which is also an important factor with all the upticks that we see. Now, why are some of the planets and minor planets pink? Well, that means that Earth has a geomagnetic connection to all of these that would in currently include uranus sirius iris saturn and neptune that is as of today the 28th of october now we're going to run this forward i'm going to first show you a watch period and the moon is going to have a lot to do with the watch period and my warning period so first, we're going to move this up to November, we'll call it 7th. It could be 6th, so 6th, 7th. We don't have a perfect alignment with the gas giant directly behind us, Uranus, but we do have Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, Sirius, and Eris, all the geomagnetic connection to Earth, and Earth is in between all those planets and the Sun. We also have Venus offsetting that entire situation. Now that's a watch period for the 6th and 7th of November. Let me show you what it looks like when I guarantee you we'll see an uptick in earthquake, volcanic, and solar activity. I've made the last two, three calls perfectly down to the day. Now I'm going to give it a three-day window and you'll see why. We probably have several large earthquakes. I want you to see that on the 13th, we get a geomagnetic connection to Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system, and Mercury. Let's see, we got one to Mercury. Mercury, we got a geomagnetic connection to Mercury on the 11th, followed on the 13th by Jupiter. Now, we're talking about having some serious magnetic connections. All the planets 
are connected to the sun, obviously. That's why they're following it through space and orbiting it. All right. So now we're moving along. And what are we going to do? We're going to have the moon line up perfectly, starting on the 19th, with Uranus, a gas giant, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Eris, and Cirrus, all behind us, a geomagnetic connection to Mercury. The moon probably is more lined up on the 20th, but my watch window is the 19th, 20th, and 21st. It might push into the 22nd. I've never seen a lineup like this. This is a planetary lineup. When they tell you, hey, there's a planetary lineup, go look outside. They're talking about planets lining up on the night side of Earth. Nothing to do with an actual planetary lineup. They're just saying that if you look up in the sky, you'll see planets that look like they're lined up. Well, that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about actual lineups. And actually, RCA did some work for the U.S. military in the late 40s. And I read their entire book that explained all this information to me. I know a lot of people are looking for that book and have read that book after I've mentioned it. So you can see on the 20th, it is just a day to remember. We have a geomagnetic connection to Jupiter, Uranus, Mercury, Cirrus, Saturn, Eris, the moon is directly between Earth and the sun, and we have both Mars and Venus basically offsetting this entire situation. It's a perfect triangle, really even more so. This is a day to remember. Now, this might push in to the 21st, because you see not much has changed, and maybe even the 22nd. So my watch window is from... 1119 to 1122 with 1120 being the perfect setup for an uptick in earthquake, volcanic, and solar activities. I would expect those two or three days to be days to remember. Now, I mean, remember forever. I've never seen any type of setup like this. And based on the RCA manual and the offsetting planets, and Uranus, Earth, the Moon, Mercury, along with these two offsets behind the Sun, I see big, big things happening here on the Earth-facing side of the Sun. And this is what I wanted to show you guys. So I'm making the call right now. Watch period, November 7th, 6th, 7th. Uh, well, and our real watch dates are going to be November 19th, 20th, and the 21st. That could push into the 22nd, but we won't include that day. Y'all be careful because this is all coming up very quickly within three weeks. The first watch period is coming up within just one week. The second one within three weeks or less than three weeks. God bless, folks. Please realize that 90% of all the activity we see is based on where the planets in our solar system are at any given time, and our moon plays a big role in all of that. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world.